Welcome everyone, AB here with Watch Collection Shy Productions. Today we're going to be going through all of Rolex's official releases. They just released this a few minutes ago, so we're going to be going through all of them and I'm going to give you guys all of my thoughts as well. But as I mentioned in the previous video, there is a new sub. However, now it's 41 millimeters. It doesn't really matter that much and I'm going to mention to you guys why, but here's the new models. You have the black dial, no date, black dial with a date, you have a Kermit, you have a blue dial, black belt. Now actually it's the black dial blue bezel but it is white gold then you have two gold versions with a blue and black bezel and finally you have two tones. Now back in 2012 when Rolex introduced the new Submariner with the beefier lugs it's because the trend back then was bigger watches. Now in order for Rolex to keep it at 40 millimeters, but to have an illusion that it looks bigger they beefed up the lugs. Now they realize a lot of people don't like that so they upped the case into 41 millimeters, but with slimmer lugs. If you look at it side by side it looks pretty similar to the older 114060 or whichever model, the beefier case, because the beefier case already looked like a 41 or 42 millimeters because of the thickness of the lugs. Now with slimmer lugs, the watch looks pretty much the same size, even though technically on paper it is bigger. So it's not really a big difference. You just get a nicer, slimmer lugs. And in my opinion, even though I am an owner of the 114060, I think the newer cases are a lot nicer. Now, of course, the biggest update is the watch now has a new movement, the 3235 with the 70 hour power reserve. We were all expecting this after they introduced it with the Batman with the Jubilee bracelet. Now they have a new caliber. So what does this mean for the older models? Well, it means that most of the older models are getting discontinued. As I mentioned in the previous video, I did mention the Hulk was getting discontinued, but it seems with this new collection, the entire lineup is going to get discontinued. Now there's a few other things that Rolex introduced. They have new Oyster Perpetuals. One of my favorites was actually the 41 millimeter size, which is the white dial with the gold kind of indices. It looks absolutely stunning. Now the reason why they updated this is they wanted to put the new caliber as well. So now the new Oyster Perpetuals have the new 3235. Now of course the Datejust was also updated with the new 3235. It seems Rolex is just updating most of their models with the new caliber. So that's pretty much what's happening right now. So the biggest news is technically the new Rolex subs. Now, I really do like the 41 millimeters, but as I mentioned, to me, it's not that big of a difference from the older model. So I don't see myself updating my current model. But with that being said, as I mentioned with the previous video, don't freak out. You're gonna see a lot of the older models will go up in price. Dealers will try to take advantage of this and try to sell the older models at way over retail. They're already selling over retail, but you're gonna see Hulks trading 20, 25. So don't freak out. Unless you really, really want it, don't pay those prices. But guys, thank you so much for joining me. This is just a quick video, as you guys can see. I was rushing this so I could get it out to you guys as soon as possible. So this was just a quick video announcing all of the new Rolex releases. And I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. What do you think about the new sub? Let us know in the comment section. And guys, as always, thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you in the next one.